add, subtract, multiply, and divide functions. We've done a little bit of this before, but we're going to focus on the notation this time. So let's look at number five. Number five says find h of x minus 2 and g of x minus 2. So if that x wasn't in there, if that was just h of negative 2, y'all did number one. You plug the number into the equation. Well, the same thing's going to happen, except we have an expression to plug in instead of just a number. So let's do that. Let's plug x minus 2 into our h of x function. So here's what I think helps to do that. When you're plugging an expression in, when you write down your h function, where you see x, just put a blank set of parentheses. Okay? So that's my h of x function right there. But I just left the x out. And in its place, I'm going to put x minus 2. And then I'm going to simplify. Distribute the 2. 2x minus 4. I got a minus 2 there on the end. I'm going to combine like terms. 2x minus 6. Okay. That is h of x minus 2. Now, I'm going to do the g of x minus 2. It's a little bit more involved. So I'm going to copy down my g of x function, except where I see an x... I'm going to put a blank set of parentheses, and I'm going to keep everything else the same. So I need that exponent of the 3, I need the minus 4, and I need the exponent of 2. And in the place of x, I'm going to plug in x minus 2. We're good so far. Okay. Now we're going to simplify. So x minus 2 cubed is not equal to x cubed minus 8. x minus 2 cubed means we have to multiply x minus 2 by itself three times. And x minus 2 squared means we're going to have to multiply x minus 2 by itself twice. Okay, we did this a little while ago earlier in the semester. When we have three binomials, we want to pair them together, foil that pair out, and then we'll worry about multiplying it by the x minus 2 after that. So x minus 2 times x minus 2, I'm going to take a little shortcut, x squared minus 4x plus 4. Okay, I didn't write it all out. The outside's negative 2x, the inside's negative 2x, so put those together for negative 4x. I leave the four, I save the four. I foil first. Well, I just foil that. X squared minus 4x plus 4. Okay. Now, binomial times trinomial. We got to distribute the x to everything, and then we distribute the negative 2 to everything. So we get x cubed minus 4x squared plus 4x. Distribute the negative 2. Negative 2x squared plus 8x minus 8. And I'm going to distribute the negative 4 for the second part of my problem. Minus 4x squared plus 16x minus 16. I promise not all of them are going to get this in tens. Okay, I just wanted to show you a difficult one. The other ones are a little bit easier. Okay, almost there. Combine like terms. X cubed, that's the only one we've got. We have negative 4x squared, negative 2x squared, negative 4x squared. So that's minus 10x squared. Positive 4x, positive 8x, positive 16x. That's positive 28x. Minus 8, minus 16. That's minus 24. So that's the g of x minus 2. My original problem said I need to add those two results together. 
So I have 2x minus 6 plus x cubed minus 10x squared plus 28x minus 24. Okay, I just put it up into two parts because I knew that g of x part was going to get really big. So, final answer. x cubed minus 10x squared plus 30x minus Okay, so I plugged x minus 2 into both my functions, simplified them fully, and then added those two answers together. Now, we could also do number 6, same process written in the other notation. We could also do this. Um, we can combine the two functions first and then plug in the a squared. Okay, so I'm going to do this one that way. I'm going to do g minus f. So g is 2a plus 4 minus, anytime you see a minus, follow it with a set of parentheses. This is where most people end up making their mistakes. If there's a minus, they don't distribute the negative. So that's 2a plus 4 minus a squared minus 2a. So our 2a's end up canceling. So we've got negative a squared plus 4. Now, I haven't dealt with that a squared there at the end. That does not mean multiply your answer by a squared. Okay, that is function notation, meaning you plug in a squared. So I'm going to use the same color. Write my function. But where I see the a, I'm going to leave it out, and I replace it with a squared. a squared squared is a to the fourth. So that's negative a to the fourth plus four. Now, you may prefer to plug it in first. Okay, you can do that. Uh, you can rewrite this so that it is g of a squared minus f of a squared. If you prefer to plug in a squared into both first and then combine the two functions, that's fine. I'm just showing you you can do it either way. Okay, you can do it either way. So, similar to this, let's look at what we call linear combinations. Okay, if you look at number 7 and 8, it looks similar, but we've got these constants in front of our functions. 3h of negative 9 minus g of negative 9. So that means we are going to plug negative 9 into our h of x function and multiply it by 3. And we're going to plug negative 9 into our g of x function. And we're going to subtract that from the first one. Okay, so I've got 3, I'm plugging in negative 9, minus g of negative 9. So negative 4 times negative 9 is 36, 36 minus 1 is 35. Negative 9 plus 4 is negative 5, subtracting a negative, same as adding a positive. 3 times 35 is 105. 105 plus 5 is 110. Negative, uh, it's from my g of x function. g of x is x plus 4. x is negative 9. So I just plug negative 9 in for x. Okay? Um, so number eight, I highly suggest that you write this as 3h of negative 1 minus 4g of negative 1. I think it just makes it a little bit more clear when it's written in this other notation and looks like you're supposed to multiply everything by negative 1 and that tends to throw people off. You're not multiplying by negative 1, you're plugging negative 1 into both your functions. So 
three times, let's plug negative 1 into h minus 4 times, plug negative 1 into g. Negative 1 cubed is negative 1. Negative 5 times negative 1 is positive 5. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2 plus 5. So negative 1 plus 5 is 4. Negative 2 plus 5 is 3. So we got 12 minus 12. 2 equals 0. Okay, good. So that's evaluating at a number. 9 and 10, we can do the exact same thing, but we can just leave it um, in function form. Okay, we're not plugging in a number, we're just combining the functions. So we're just uh, doing this linear combination 2 times f minus, anytime you see that minus, put a set of parentheses. I know I sound like a broken record, but people time and time again, they just write the minus and then they start writing the function, so the only thing that becomes negative is the 4, n, instead of the constant of the 4 at the end. Okay, we're going to simplify. So distribute the 2, distribute the negative, combine like terms. 2n minus 4n, negative 2n, negative 10 minus 4, negative 14. That is the linear combination of 2f of n minus g of n. similar. Number 10, it's just in the other notation. I encourage you to write it like this, 2f of t minus g of t. So you don't think in the end I'm supposed to multiply everything by t, because you're not. So 2 times f, f is t plus 5 minus g, t squared plus 2. Don't forget the parentheses. Distribute the 2, 2t plus 10. Distribute the negative, negative t squared minus 2t. Combine like terms, write it in standard form. Negative t squared, the 2t's cancel, plus 10. I wrote it, no, I wrote it in function notation. I rewrote that. 2f minus g of t is 2f of t minus g of t. It's just a different way of writing that notation. It doesn't mean multiply by t or anything like that. Okay, now let's look at it where we're plugging in an expression. We're doing a linear combination and then we're plugging in an expression. And again, I'm going to show you both ways of doing it. Okay, the first time, I'm going to do the linear combination. I'm going to do 3g minus 3f. So 3 times g minus 3 times f. I'm going to simplify that. Distribute the 3s. First one's positive. Second one's negative. And I'm going to combine like terms. That is just 3g minus 3f. Okay, but I haven't dealt with this 4n yet. So in my function here, where I see n, I'm going to leave myself a blank set of parentheses, and I'm going to put 4n in those parentheses. Exponents come before multiplication. So I'm going to square the 4 and square the n. 
So 16n squared, then I'm going to multiply it by 3. I'm going to multiply.